this video i will be solving a question related to joint probability distribution so the problem statement says to determine the marginal distribution and also to find the covariance between discrete random variables x and y of the probability distribution so here the probability distribution table is given so let's consider this as x1 as x is this side let's consider this as x1 this as x2 this as x3 and here it is y1, y2 and y3. So first part of our question is to find the marginal distribution. Uh, let's see how to find the marginal distribution. Marginal distribution is the sum of all the horizontal or vertical columns. So for this, uh, let's write here, we'll write it as f of x and here we'll write it as g of y because when we add all the x1 um, terms all the adjacent terms of x1 we get f of x and for f2 we have to add all 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 10 and for x3 f of x3 we have to add 1 by 12 1 by 12 and 1 by 12 so marginal distribution of f of x firstly f of x1 is equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 that is 1 by 2 yes 1 by 2 yes then f of x2 is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 that is 1 by 4 so here 1 by 4 again f of x3 is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 that is 1 by 4 so here 1 by 4 uh, one more thing we have to remember that the sum of all f of x that is f of x1 plus f of x2 plus f of x3 should be equal to 1. If it is equal to 1 then all the values which we have obtained are correct. So let's check that 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. It is yes it's correct only we get 1. Okay, so we have done with marginal finding the marginal distribution of uh, f of x. Now let's see marginal distribution of g of y. So g of y1 is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12. That is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12. g of y2 is also 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12. And g of y3 is also the same that is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12. So if we do this we will get 1 by 3 here. And here also 1 by 3 and here also 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 here, 1 by 3 here and 1 by 3 here. So when we add all of these g of y we get 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. That is 1. So as we have got one, all our marginal distribution values are correct. So now let's move on to the other part of question that says uh, to find the covariance between x and y. So firstly, let's write the formula of covariance that is covariance of COV xy is expectation of xy minus e of x into e of y take this as formula 1. So here we have to find uh, e of xy separately, e of x and e of y separately and then add uh, like substitute all the values in this equation. So firstly let's go with e of x. So e of x formula is summation of x of i into f of xi for all values of i. So this can be written as here we have uh, three values of x right so x1 f of x1 plus x2 f of x2 plus x3 f of x3 so so we have x1 so we'll write x1 value is 2 and f of x1 is 1 by 2 plus 5 into 1 by 4 plus 7 into 1 by 4. So if we solve this, we get the value as 4. Okay. Now let's write E of Y. 
e of y is summation of y of j into g of y of j for all values of j that is y1 into g of y1 plus y2 into g of y2 plus y3 into g of y3 y g of y1 g of y2 and g of y3 so substituting the value of y1 and g y1 that is y1 is 3 and g y1 is 1 by 3 3 into 1 by 3 plus 4 into 1 by 3 plus 5 into 1 by 3 that is uh, if you solve this we will get the answer as 4 now we have to find out we have found out this 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 is remaining so let's find out this that is e of x y e of x y can be written as uh, summation of x1 summation of x y and j values so it can be written as x1 y1 into j11 plus x2 y x1 y2 into j12 plus x1 y3 into j13 plus x2 y1 into j21 plus x2 y2 into j22 x2 y3 into j23 x3 y1 into j31 x3 y1 into j31 plus x3 y2 into j32 x3 y2 into j32 and x3 y3 into j33 x3 y3 into j33 so substituting the values that is 6 into 1 by 6 plus 8 by 6 plus 10 by 6 plus 15 by 12 plus 20 by 12 plus 25 by 12 plus 21 by 12 plus 28 by 12 plus 35 by 12 so if you solve this you will get it as 16 so we have found out the value of e of x y e of x and e of y further we can write it as uh, let's substitute all these values in covariance formula that is cov of x y is equal to 16 minus e of x is 4 and e of y is also 4 so 4 into 4 16 minus 16 is 0 so if we uh, if we can make out from the period so here the covariance value is 0 it shows that the random variables x and y are independent So I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and uh, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.